Hey, this is SK. Uh, thought I'd take a quick break and uh, get down another video for you. Um, today I've got uh, some materials that I that I uh, used and took with me to the Getty yesterday. Um, I'll talk about them in just a little bit. So this is what I've been working on. Just uh, been working in oils, um, working in acrylic, and working in charcoal. So yesterday I was um, just I just worked with six B uh, pencils, and this is six B uh, charcoal block or charcoal stick block shape, and they're both by General, and it works really well for me. Um, these are brushes that I use specifically just for charcoal to, to brush and brush away the excess uh, charcoal dust and actually polish the drawing, actually get the charcoal into the paper. As you can see here, hopefully you can see that, it's a little dark. The study was dark. When it's dark, I don't know if you can see that. Need more light. Anyway, here's another one here. Uh, both of these probably could use a little bit more work, but you know what? I'm going to go ahead and fix them a little bit with uh, this workable fixer. Most people have seen this before, but it works really great for um, getting your charcoal to adhere to the paper. It avoids... Um, prevent smudging and wrinkling of your paper. So again, charcoal pencil, charcoal blocks, stick blocks, brushes uh, for the polishing the, uh, the drawing. Here we go. Workable fix if you can use that probably at home. You probably don't want to take that to the museum with you. And uh, so that's it. Um, oh, here's, here's a really great pencil sharpener doesn't require batteries or power it's the doll I think that's how you spell it Dow 155 D A H L E it is a great great exceptional pencil sharpener um, for your pencils you can actually instead of sharpening the charcoal pencils with the blade which is great for Conte uh, pencils and some of the other pencils but uh, if you're doing a lot of work and you, you want uh, your pencil sharp, this would really save you a lot of time. And let me just demonstrate what I'm talking about when you take this brush here. This is a hog's head or hog's bristle brush, hog's bristle brush, and it's by, this is a silver brush. I really like this particular brand of brush as well. Um, I've, I've got another uh, model of theirs also it's a bristle on I like those I'll talk about those in another video but basically you use the brush knock off the excess charcoal and then actually get that charcoal into your paper and uh, oh I forgot to mention boy, I, guess the paper was all over the place. I forgot to mention um, <laughs> you'll want to get an eraser most people have seen this before this is the uh, design needed rubber eraser and this is what it looks like when it's in use you know there's another one here and you want to try to keep them out of your hand you want to get them so they stay cool and you'll use it to go in you see my hand here and get your highlights and such or just mix remove some of the charcoal yeah this needs a lot of Oh well. Anyway, it's helping me to, to paint better. All right, so I guess that'll do it for this video. Uh, again, this is SK. Uh, thanks a lot for watching my video, and uh, hopefully I helped you a little bit. All right, it's a really cool day. I'm thankful to be out here uh, doing what I love, which is making art. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Oil, acrylic, acrylic oil. All right. Getting better and better.